Welcome to Evolution Adventures. If you're new here, my name's Troy, and this is my 2006 Mitsubishi Evolution 9. And uh, we are here just to road trip around the country, check out national parks, and basically just show you guys, the viewer, uh, what this country is like to hopefully inspire you to travel some more. This video series will show you all the parks I went, some wildlife, some issues I had, and much more. I got to meet a lot of awesome people, a lot of cool sights to see, and uh, I just want to bring you guys along for the journey. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, uh, like I said, I hope you guys uh, stick around, check out the video if you like it. Um, you know, leave a like, comment, share with your friends. So with that being said, uh, grab yourself a bowl of popcorn and enjoy the series. Thank you guys. All right, off to Salt Lake City we go. Let's put it in the GPS, there we go. And I'm gonna be taking uh, this northern route up through South Dakota into Wyoming. Start, there we go, 22 hours, let's do this. So here's a map of my whole trip out to Utah and back, just a little under 4,500 miles. The first leg of the trip was to Badlands National Park in South Dakota. It was about an 11 hour drive and 734 miles. I left right after work and just wanted to get there as soon as I could. So I just drove through the night and into the next day. And that is where we will start this video's adventures is in Badlands National Park. Well, we just made it to Badlands National Park. currently on the wildlife loop trail in Custer State Park in the, in the Black Hills. Uh, gonna see if we can see some uh, some wild animals, uh, some buffalo, or I should say bison. I'm not entirely sure what's all in here. I've always seen pictures of uh, like bison walking across the road and stuff, so hopefully we uh, see some of that. And then uh, we're gonna go to like Needles Highway and some other stuff. Yesterday was like raining all day when I was in the Badlands, so unfortunately, I didn't really film much. I just took some pictures of the car with the with the landscape. See what we can find. The weather is not too not too nice. I woke up this morning. It was like 35 degrees, a lot colder than I was expecting. So we'll see what we see. Sheep down there. And by that, it's 
awesome from here. So we are currently coming up to my 32nd National Park, Wind Cave. So that's 32 out of 63. So we just got to the visitor center. I'm gonna get a magnet like I do for every park and then uh, see if they got some cave tours. So unfortunately, I guess all the uh, caves are closed down this year due to uh, the maintenance. I guess they're servicing the elevators. They were having a lot of issues with them prior years, but uh, you can still get to the natural entrance of one of them. So I'm walking there now. Here we're coming up to the natural entrance. I believe that's it right there. That little hole. That's pretty crazy. I don't even know if I'd fit in there. So unfortunately, like I said, um, the caves were all closed off due to some elevator maintenance. Um, I did stop in the store and I got a magnet like I get for every park. So here's Wind Cave. It's got a little car and then the little bridge that we uh, that we went over earlier. Uh, I always try and get a magnet that reflects a place in the park that I liked or maybe like an activity I did. I really like that bridge. I'm gonna go back and get some, get some videos and pictures of the car in front of it. And then I also did get, got a sticker for the roof rack. So uh, we're gonna just keep uh, keep going through the park, uh, check out some other areas of it, maybe a hiking trail or two. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'll just have to I'll just have to come back at a later date and uh, check out the cave. I have seen a lot of other caves uh, around the country. It's not a total bummer, but it is kind of a bummer. I was looking forward to see uh, see what this park had to offer. Well, we are now at Sylvan Lake in Custer State Park, South Dakota. It is beautiful here. I just wish it was a little bit sunnier.
I just got some uh, chicken tenders and fries for like a quick lunch at this uh, store by Sylvan Lake and uh, they didn't have anywhere inside to eat so I'm stuck outside and it's like it's like 40 degrees out so oh well out here now on Iron Mountain Road which is 16A in the Black Hills and uh, it's kind of like Tale of the Dragon it's like I think it's like a whole bunch of turns in like 17 miles uh, there's some pigtails tunnels and then uh, the four presidents Mount Rushmore so just going by a pull-off and you can actually see Mount Rushmore I'll get my big lens and zoom in so you guys can see it So I was going to spend uh, the next day uh, in this area as well, Needles Highway, Mount Rushmore, this whole area that I've been in today, uh, but the weather does not look any better for tomorrow, it still looks all rainy, so I'm just going to start heading north 
up to Spearfish, kind of by like Sturgis area, more like the northern part of the Black Hills. It looks like it should be a little sunnier tomorrow, so I'm just going to start heading that way. I'm going to hit some stuff on the way, and then uh, tomorrow I actually have a pretty cool place I'm going to be going to, considering I want to try and do all 50 states. So as you can see that road that I was headed on it was closed uh, so unfortunately I did have to turn around uh, head back towards Keystone and Rapid City as you can see from this animation. This detour ended up adding about two hours to my trip. Here we're coming up on Spearfish Canyon. Waterfalls, best sounding thing ever. Car, I'm the only one here. So I just got uh, to Spearfish, uh, South Dakota. I uh, finished up the uh, Spearfish Canyon. Uh, pretty much the only thing I really wanted to see 100% was that Bridal Veil Falls, which you guys saw. But then uh, in the morning, we're gonna head north a little bit to a really cool spot.